We have not received any criminal complaints. We've been asked to review it. You know, like anything, we try to see what our bandwidth is, meaning, I don't mean in terms of resources, do we have tools in the toolbox to address that particular problem? Or is that a matter of code enforcement for local officials? Um, but we're reviewing that right now, and, and if we come to a place where there is a, a step that we can take to protect Rhode Islanders, you can be certain we're going to do that. I think the office has pivoted from being reactive to being proactive, meaning we want to hear from Rhode Islanders. We go, we set up mechanisms so that they can reach us, but we know that many Rhode Islanders still don't know that we're out there. We have a terrific consumer team that can handle any kind of problem. We get hundreds of calls a month. We could literally double that number if Rhode Islanders knew that we were there to help them. Everything from conditions in their apartments to extra charges on their credit card to a bill for utilities that isn't what it should be. Um, we have a team that does that every single day, um, our consumer protection team. And you know whether there be whether there'll be an angle for us to do something here, I don't know. If there isn't, and we need legislation to give us more authority, you can be certain we'll try to do that.